Bullock from learningalias.co.uk and I'd like to talk to you about how to achieve G4 curvature. So I have two degree 4 curves here which gives me a total of uh, 10 CVs 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 times 2, 10. Let's take the move CV tool and we're going to pick the first two CVs and move them up so that they are on the same tangent same vector okay so they are uh, tangential if we put a comb on there now we can we can verify that and you see that uh, they're just a little bit out put that straight I'm going to set my take my step size move that until both curves are on the on the grid let's have a getting close and have a better look here okay take this one getting close they are that's uh, tangent C the two red lines don't meet but these two quills do. So that takes care of three CVs. Now we have to think about the curvature CV. So let's pick this one and we'll come up, take the step size off, we'll come up to some sort of curvature. Now what's important is that this meets sympathetically to what will be the other curve. You know, you don't want it coming up like this or dipping down like that. No peak in other words, or, or dip. Alright, so the third CV is obviously the curvature CV, the G2 CV. And we'll go to there for the moment. And you can see that we have a problem there. Okay, We have G2, but we don't have G3. Now we're going to take the fourth CV and move it until we have move it until we have a nice flow there. Now I can already see, let me put my step size on now, I can already see that you know there's something slightly wrong there, very very slightly, so I know how to fix that, I'll show you. That will be the G2 in really close that would be the G2 CV that fixes that problem okay now we have an inflection here so let's get rid of that okay and that is almost a G4 the reason it's not G4 is because we have a peak here so we have to get rid of that peak so how are we going to do that? Let's pick up this CV and we'll move it until that happens. Okay, and we can't move it on its own. We have to move the last CV in the G4 until we get rid of that inflection there. Okay, that can be there or it can be there. It's still going to be G4. Okay. About there, and that side looks all right. So that is G4 curvature. What does it mean? It means that the curvature is consistent. It's progressively consistent over the whole span of those one, two, three, four, five CVs. But of course, it really only involves. Um, well, it does involve moving all the CVs because you know I put this uh, first CV on the origin, so I moved that as well. So I moved all the CVs. So ten CVs to get a degree four. Let's go into F five.
and then a bit of width. And then we'll take uh, something simple like a blue two curve, snap it to there, do the same at this end. And then in this view, pick the CVs and just give it a bit of curvature in that direction, like so, for example, just there. So one last thing we need to do is pick a curve, move its pivot to there, control C, control V pick move and snap that copy of the curve to there. Just check that we have contact the other side. The way I do that I, I use the square tool. Pick nothing. Okay, we're ready to build controls off. We're ready to build uh, our two surfaces. Let's take um, let's take a square tool. And we'll ask for curvature or implied curvature on the first boundary. Now our curves are in degree two, so we should, should set that up really, shouldn't we? Degree two, degree four. Next. Now for our next, we'll change the implied to curvature and leave the rest as fixed. And we'll build it to the, to the surface. Delete the locator. And let's toggle the model off, put some shading on. So this is with uh, the zebra stripes turned on and anti-aliasing. And you can see we have very even zebra stripe plot. Let's take those off and we'll put on the showroom paint shader and as you can see if I roll the highlights across there uh, it's a very very nice surface we'll try it with evaluation uh, set to mean and the curvature color scale is set to 1.7. Now if I move that you'll see an indication of the evenness of the curvature and it's very 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 even. Mm. Finish off with going to reflections and there we are the surface G4 with the hall reflections on which shows the beautiful curvature continuity of this surface. So there you are, G4 surface made by hand. We haven't used any rec modeling, we haven't used any um, alignment tools and I hope that you found that useful. Thank you very much. I've been Graham Bullock from learningalias.co.uk.